you know, if you look at like businesses for, for example, or I mean, just look at the nonprofit community, oftentimes the donors that are being kind of, you know, promoted the most are, are like these big foundations or these high net worth donors, which is fine. I mean, those, 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 uh, those types of donors are very important for organizations. But what you're saying is what you have found is that it's the, it's the young people that we've inspired, the small amounts of money that have actually, you know, have caused individuals with more capacity to do more because they see, and that's, that's, and I think that you guys just recently ran a campaign. Yeah. I was just going to bring that up. Yeah. Tell Uh, us about that. It's just such a tangible example. So this, this little girl named Nora, she's six years old, sent in a donation. She watched the spring film, which is, uh, this is how we launched the spring. We created a 20 minute film. That's really Scott's story. And then how his story became the story of a million people who supported charity water. And it ends with a very explicit ask to join this monthly giving community. It's really, it's helped uh, drive a lot of people into the program and I think does a really good job of, of introducing the idea of this community. But this girl had seen the video on her, on her dad's phone. She watched she it with her six. dad. Six years old. She, told, she tells the story. She went into her bedroom. She laid in her bed and she thought, should I give my money to Charity Water or shouldn't I? And the next morning she came downstairs with her little handbag and dumped out her money on the table. And she's like, mom, I want to send, I want to send some money. So we get an envelope in the mail that has a $5 bill, a $2 bill, a $1 bill, a dime and a nickel, and a little photo of her and a handwritten note that says, I don't want people to die from dirty water, uh, so I'm, I'm sharing some of my money. And we're like, who, what, who is this girl? And what's the thought process when you're like, do I include a nickel? Like, uh, yeah. I should do it. Uh, it was just so compelling and we wanted to highlight her story and invite people to follow her lead so for world water day last year we invited our audience to to match her donation eight dollars and fifteen cents and prove to her really uh she believed that eight dollars and fifteen cents would make a huge difference let's prove to nora just how big of a difference it can really make and what was awesome is we had like the eight dollar and fifteen cent pre-filled form yeah but people kept changing the amount they would give variations so it was like eighty dollars and fifteen cents or a hundred and eight dollars and fifteen cents and one woman gave fifteen thousand dollars. Wow! Yeah, so it was just like such a, a, a awesome proof point that those the small stories inspire really big ones. How much did you raise on that day, World Water Day? Oh, it was about seventy five thousand dollars total. So had, this this the six year old girl inspired hundreds of donors to give seventy five thousand yeah. dollars in one day, um, just because she saw this video.